Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm a little nervous for it as well, but I think it's going to be pretty fun. So if you've seen those, my husband or my boyfriend buys my makeup tags going around. I think they've been out for a little while now. This video is going to be a little bit of a different spin on that kind of video. Now because I am in the Project Pan community, I didn't want to have my husband go out and buy all sorts of new makeup for me to try out. Plus, let's be honest, I just don't have the money to do that. But I thought instead of doing that, you know, I would have my husband shop my stash today. So what I did was I lined up all of my makeup or most of my makeup. I didn't give him absolutely everything to choose from because there's definitely stuff I knew I didn't want to use, but I set out a majority of my makeup for him to choose from and I had him try and put together an entire look for me. Now he knows absolutely nothing about makeup, so this should be pretty interesting. I'm worried that he's going to forget a few things, but we're going to try and make it work. I did have him film himself looking through all of my makeup and picking out all the products, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that and then we're going to come back and I'm going to try and put together a look based on all the products he picked. Okay, well... I have now been tasked with picking my wife's makeup to try to give her a look that a normal human person would wear. Uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out because I don't know what women need for makeup. Yeah, this is probably going to end poorly for me, but let's see. I'm going to start here because I know these are called palettes. I don't know anything else about them, but I know they're called palettes. Let's see. I know I bought this one. I don't think you can go wrong with candied peach. Yeah. All right, I think that works. And I'm going to put it in this uh, fancy bag here. I like that one. I'm going, to, I'm going to give her another one, too. Let's see. So I know all about the two-faced ones, and I know about this uh, this one, this decay one, because I actually I like that logo. I do. Ooh, I don't know if I've seen this one. Nah, that's pretty boring. Let's take a look at this one here. Well, these all have risque names. I think I'll go with Lace Teddy. I'll start over here. She has told me that this is not all of her makeup. She did not have to tell me that this is not all of her makeup. Let's see. These are eyebrow things. A brow shaper pencil. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to force her to open that and use it. It might not have been open for a reason. Maybe she didn't want to use it. Well, she's going to use it today. No. What do we got here? Volumizer. I've heard that word before. Well, here we go. Let's take a look. I think I have an idea what that is. Makeup setting spray. You look like a bunch of gels and stuff and face creams and photo finish. Yes, I would like a photo finish. I would like, I don't even know what that is. All right, let's see. <laughs> Butter bronzer. Got some couture stuff. Ooh, ooh. Looks, not trying to drop it, I swear. It looks like she used that before. So let's try to ignore that one. Let's see what this one is here. Uh, let's see here, what is this? What does this say? Quickie Couture Stick. Oh, here we go. She's not, we'll use that. Okay, what do we got here? Bare Minerals, I know, I've heard that before. I know she likes that. What is this? Makeup Forever. No, no, we'll skip that one. We'll skip that one. Let's see. What's it? Dream Cushion. Liquid Foundation on the go. No, no. I'm going to go with... I'm going to give her something I know she uses. Uh, I'll throw that in there. I'll throw the bare minerals, bare minerals in there. I know she uses that. I pay attention to some things. See, a lot of this stuff just looks exactly the same. Is this just more foundation? What is this? What's in here? I only have one hand to do this with. Mm, no, that's been used too much. I've probably seen her in it. That's all right. Make Today Beautiful by Tarte. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's never been used. She's going to use it today. That's what that is. <laughs> that's going to be my goal. Stuff she's never used that I may or may not have paid for, she's going to use. Let's see this. This is eyelash stuff. I know eyelash stuff. And that box has been opened. This one has not. Okay. For hazel eyes. Well, she has hazel eyes. 
That goes in there. And let's take a look here. There's a lot of eye stuff. What is that? That's a cool container. I'm going to throw that in there. What does it say? Tattooed. Hmm. Jet black. No, no, no. I don't want jet black. Huh? Let's find a weird one. Cobalt. We'll go with some cobalt. There's a whole other thing. Yep. Yep. This is all the lip stuff. This is all the lip stuff. Clearance. She went clearance with lip velvet. Oh, okay. Uh, oh gosh. Smoochie's sizzle gloss. Apparently, she is 16 again when she wears that. Um, uh, oh, that's a good color. I like that color. That's going in there. That's going in there. I like that color. And, um, you know what? I'm going to throw this in there, too. It's on clearance. I want to see what that is, because I don't know. She may or may not use it. Oh, there's lots of them. Oh, there's lots more. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. There we go. Burt's Bees. Let's throw some Burt's Bees in there. I, I know Burt's Bees, and I have used Burt's Bees before. All right. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Hmm. That's pretty much the same. Ooh, there we go. A little bit darker. At least it looks like to me. It might be the case. Let's go with that one. And here I'll give her one that she's used before. She used this hard candy one. I'll let her use that one before, again. I don't, I don't want her to be unfamiliar with a lot of this stuff. Um, ooh, see now look at that design. Did she just not want to use that design? Because that's a nice design. Yeah, she's going to use that one. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with it. That's a nice design. That's blush. That's blush. All right, she's used this enough. I'll, I'll trust her with that. All right. I have no idea how she's going to look with that. But uh, yeah, that bag looks uh, pretty full of uh, stuff that uh, we'll see how it turns out. Because that's a lot in there. She may or might not even use it all. But she has to use what's in there. So yeah, I think I did pretty good. Well, I'll hand it back to her. So here is the bag of all the makeup my husband picked for me. You guys probably know some of what is in here, uh, but let's go through it. I have not opened this, so I don't know what all is in here. So he did give me a couple of specific shades that he wants me to use, and as we get to those products, I think I know what they are, um, but as we get to those products, I will tell you what shades he specifically told me to use, um, but that's definitely not everything. So most of everything in here is going to be a surprise. Um, so let's see here. All right, first thing I'm pulling out here is something from Hard Candy. This is my little three times a lady trio and it's got a blush and a highlighter in there. Then here's the next thing. This is also a blush. This one is from Milani and this is the Tea Rose blush. So I have two blushes to choose from. I don't think I will be using both. Um, then here is something from All May. I haven't even opened this yet. Um, so this is an eyeliner. This is the Black Pearl eyeliner. Then let's see. This is from Tarte. This is the um, uh, Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation in Fair Light Neutral. Um, I have used this before. This I know is a brand new one, but I have actually finished an entire one of these before, and I do really like that. All right, here's my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, and he did tell me he wanted me to use... Um, I'm pretty sure he told me he wanted me to use the Candied Peach shade in this palette. Alright, next up here is another palette. This is my Too Faced Natural Matte palette. We've got a little Too Faced uh, theme going here on the eyes. Um, and then in this palette, I know he told me he wanted me to use... Um, Lace Teddy, this one right here. All right, the next up here is something from Burt's Bees. Um, I don't remember when I bought this or anything. This is a uh, lip shimmer in the shade Watermelon. Um, I don't remember that color or anything. That must be in my collection for a really long time. Um, and then here is something from Urban Decay. This is the uh, Comfort Matte Lipstick in 1993. I do really like that shade. Um, so I got two lip products going on right now. How is this going to work? Um, all right, here is a primer. I do like this primer. This is just a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish. Here is a brow pencil that I've never used before. I think I got this in an Amazon box and I've just never opened this yet. This is the L'Oreal Brow, brow Stylist Sculpt, Sculpto, I think, Sculptor, I don't know. Um, but there is that. Thank goodness there is something for eyebrows in here. 
Here's another uh, lip product. I don't know how I'm gonna put all three lip products on my face. Hopefully there's no more in the drawer or in the little bag here. But this is from Rimmel and this is the Show Up Lip Velvet. So we will see about that. Um, let's see, uh, here is an eyeliner. This is a really, really old eyeliner. This is from uh, The Rock and this is their uh, plum eyeliner. Is this even gonna still be good? Um, oh, I don't know. That kind of looks a little funky. I don't know, there's like little bubbles on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Uh, hopefully there's a different eyeliner in there because I don't know if I really want to use that. Uh, we'll see. All right, pulling back into the bag, here is something from uh, Benefit. This is the Hoola Quiggy Contour Stick. So that is perfect to have. I don't think I have any other bronzing products, so that might be my only bronzer today. Um, then here's another eyeliner. Okay, I think I'm gonna skip that L'Oreal one, or the uh, the Lorac one, because that one looks a little iffy to me. Um, and this is the Ulta Dual Ended Eyeliner, and he told me he wanted me to use the shade Cobalt, which is a blue. So he did specifically say he wanted me to use that side. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna skip the Lorac, because that one just needs to probably get out of my collection. All right, next up is some mascara, and I only actually gave him three mascaras to choose from, the only three mascaras that I currently have open. This is the one that he picked, and this one is from Blink. This is the Mascara Amplified. It's not my favorite. I've been using it just because it is open, but it's definitely not my favorite. But there's that. I think I got a couple of things still in here. All right, here's some Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Golden Fair, and this is too light for me. So we're going to try and make it work, I guess. But uh, this definitely is too light for me. But at least there's some kind of foundation product. And then I've still got a couple things. Oh, okay. So glad he put this in here. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. My eyeshadow just will not stay on um, and will look atrocious if I don't have an eye, uh, an eyeshadow primer. So very happy that that is in here. And then it looks like there's just one last thing and it's another lip product. <laughs> what am I gonna do with, what is this now? Four different lip products? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, but this is a little one from ColourPop and this is the color Creeper. All right, so looking at everything that we have here, the only thing I think that we're really missing is bronzer. He did give me the um, Hoola contour stick, so that will kind of have to be my bronzer for today. But I do usually like to use a powder bronzer, even if when I use a stick like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to start with some primer. And honestly, I don't know that I've ever used this kind of primer with Bare Minerals before. This could be an absolutely horrific mess. We're just gonna kind of uh, see what happens. But I'm gonna go in first with this primer, of course. Oh, and the other thing he forgot, he didn't give me any concealer either. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is the Bare Minerals, and yeah, this is way too light for me. And I'm pretty fair, but this I know is too light for me. We're just gonna have to make it work. I haven't used Bare Minerals in forever, but it used to be the only thing that I used, so this is probably why he picked that, because uh, for a long time, this was all, was all I had. I'm just using my e.l.f. small stipple brush for this. I don't know that I love this, so let me see if I can have a, find a different brush for this. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, this is not playing too well with that primer, uh, but you know, it is what it is, and oh my gosh, I look like a ghost. Um, wow, that is way too light for me. Um, all right, let's try and fix that with this contour stick, see what this can do for me. Uh, I'm gonna go ham on this and use a ton of it. Oh, I forgot that powder. I need to use that powder too. Darn it. I will put that on over this, I guess. Usually when I use Bare Minerals, I don't put a powder on top of it, so that's why I didn't think to put that on first. All right, that makes it look a little bit better. I'm not so ghostly pale. So now I'm gonna go in with that powder that I forgot to use, um, and we're just gonna kind of set everything. Because he did give me two blushes here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this for blush, and then I'm just gonna use the highlight in this little palette. I think my face is pretty much done and mm, I'm not loving it, that's for sure. Um, I think that just everything is sitting really strangely on top of each other. Um, yeah, I've got some weird stuff going here on my eyebrows. I'm really missing my contour. When I film especially, I do really like to put contour on. Uh, but it is what it is, this was the challenge. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my uh, eyes with some primer. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Lace Teddy that he wanted me to use and put that all over my lids to uh, set the primer. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and open this Brow Stylist Sculptor from L'Oreal. Um, and this is in the shade Brunette. And of course I have not used this before, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it looks like it's got wax on one side and then just the regular brow pencil on the other. All right, so hopefully these brows are gonna turn out okay. This might be a little bit warm, but, but we'll see. Um, and this uh, cap does have a little bit of a brush on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of brush my eyebrows back here. And uh, wish me luck. Yeah, that is a pretty warm color. Not sure that I'm loving it. You see what happened there? I just kind of accidentally put the brush there and it moved a whole bunch of product right there. That is interesting. I don't think I've ever had that happen with a brow product before, the brow pencil. Uh, but just know that that might happen if you use this one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set the brows with the wax that the pencil comes with seems to hold the brows in place pretty well so that's a good thing all right so there you go there are the brows I do think they're a little bit too warm and it wasn't my favorite pencil to use um, but as soon as I'm done with my um, current eyebrow pencil I'm gonna zoom you guys out a little bit um, I will start to use that a little bit more um, all right so now let's go ahead and get back to the eyes and we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and again he did want me to use the color candy peach right here so I think I'm gonna go in with that all over the lid um, so let's start building it up. So I think I'm gonna go in with a shade puree here all over my crease. Then I'm gonna go and darken the crease a little bit with this color called Charmed, I'm sure. And I'm gonna kind of focus this on the outer part of my eyelid here. Um, and I did realize he forgot another thing. He forgot setting spray. So he forgot bronzer, uh, setting spray, and concealer three things that I use on a daily basis. <laughs> but I am happy that he picked a palette that's got some mattes in it. Uh, I was worried that he was going to pick just like the Urban Decay Ammo palette because I know he really likes the artwork on that palette, um, on the outside of the palette. So I thought that that was kind of going to be the route that he was going to take. And I was worried that there was going to be absolutely no mattes for me to work with. But fortunately, that's not the case. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the candied peach all over my lid. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight with the color Nectar. Next, moving on to eyeliner. This is another product that of course I've never used before. This is from Alme. This is the Intense Eye Color Eyeliner in the color Black Pearl. I think a long time ago I used an Alme eyeliner, but it's been years, so I have no idea um, what I think of these. And of course the formula could have changed since then, so uh, let's just see how it works. Oh, he wanted me to use the blue too. Um, I will do that on my bottom lashes. This eyeliner is tugging a little bit. I feel like it's dried out. I think I've had this one just laying in my drawer for a while, just waiting to be used. Uh, so this one might not be good anymore. Now I'm gonna go in with the Ulta eyeliner in the color Cobalt on my lower lash line. I do love Ulta eyeliners. It's been a long time since I used the pencil kind like this, the one that you have to sharpen. I usually get the uh, the retractable, the retractable ones, but uh, I do really like them. That's doing nothing. What the heck, Ulta? Usually you guys are super good. Let's see. All right. Yeah, ooh. Can you see that? That is a terrible swatch. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, yeah, oh gosh. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, that is so cha or that is so chunky and just ooh. All right, all right. Let's give this one more try. I'm gonna try it, and if I can't get it to work, then I'm just gonna go back to the Alme. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye too. Um, I feel like it's coating my eyelashes more than it's actually depositing color on my skin. That's a little weird. Yeah, that's not working too well. I'm gonna even it out and I'm gonna put a little bit on this eye, but then I think I'm gonna go over it with the all May color, just the black. Well, honestly, that's not much better down here on the bottom. It was pretty dark on the top, I felt. Not the best, but it actually at least had color. I don't know what's going on. My eyes aren't particularly watery right now or anything. All right, neither of these eyeliners are good for my bottom lash line. Um, so hopefully some eyeshadow will help it. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade from this uh, Natural Matte Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and set that um, and try and darken up my lower lash line a little bit with the color Sixpresso. 
So there is no blue eyeshadow in this palette to kind of mimic the color of that cobalt eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line a little bit with the purple shade here. This one is called Delectable. That's just the closest color that we've got um, to the blue. To finish the eye look, I'm going to use a little mascara. So mascara is now on, and I have to say, I kind of dig the eye look. I think it's actually really, really pretty. Uh, so now it's time for the lips, the very last thing, and he did give me four lip products to choose from. There is absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to put all four of these on my lips. I told him that I would maybe do two, um, and he said specifically he wanted me to use the Burt's Bees, so I can pick another one of these three. Um, and I think out of the three, the one that would look best with the Burt's Bees is this one from Rimmel. So I'm gonna go ahead with this one first, and then we'll put the uh, Burt's Bees one on top of it. This is a really pretty lip color on its own. I don't even know that I said the shade name. Um, if I can find it. Uh, Meteoric Matte is what that one is called. It is really pretty, but I don't know how well I like it with the eyes, but it is what it is. And then I'm gonna go over everything with this Burt's Bees Watermelon Lip Shimmer. Yeah, I don't know that it's really doing much, maybe just adding a little bit of gloss. I think it's pretty close to the color of the uh, Rimmel one, which is nice. All right, so there is the completed look. Should we go get my husband and see what he thinks about it? Well, you, oh, you're a little you, tall. <laughs> you, you, know, you gotta look at me. I think I should do this more often. <laughs> well, let's, let's talk about this here because <laughs> you didn't give me any concealer. Yep. You didn't give me any bronzer. Yep. You didn't give me any setting spray. Uh -huh. And you gave me four lip products. I don't know what any of those things are. <laughs> I, I, I've heard of bronzer. There's, some, yeah, there's, something called, that. there's something called setting spray. Yes, that was definitely in there for you to choose from. You okay. decided just to ignore that. Okay. Um, but at least you did give me eye, uh, eyeshadow primer. I was worried that you were going to forget that. I don't know um, what that is. I, I thought, wh wh which one was that? This one, this Urban Decay. Oh, I just saw that you used it, so I figured you oh. needed it. Uh, yeah, I definitely so, do need it. I, use I don't it know every what day. it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know what you were thinking with the four lip products. I ended up using these two mm -hmm. to get this look right here. Uh, so yeah, this is what you came up with. You look good. Well, I look okay. The eyeshadow and the lips don't really go all that well together. But... I beg your pardon. It is what it is. I think they look great together. Well, thanks. You have to say that. I don't have to say anything. All right. Well, let's wrap this up. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for helping me out. This was an interesting project. Maybe we should do the reverse next time, huh? Nope. Where I pick out for him, but of course I would pick real good products. Yeah, except and then you'd have to put it on yourself. Nope. Ooh, I like this. I happen. like where this is going. It's not gonna happen. It will. Um, but thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me today and with him a little bit, I guess. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads. We can also connect on Instagram. That will be listed down there. And I will see you guys on my next video. Where is it listed? Down there. Okay. Uh, but I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye!